So morning, welcome along out with RB. Uh, Saturday morning, test ride on this Euro 5 Lexmodo Titan. This one's going out to another customer. Bike is running so I can show off those daytime running lights. You've got two nice big bulbs to the front of that. Just looking down the side of the bike and the new redesigned exhaust guard. So far, touch wood, we haven't had any exhaust guard issues that we used to have with the Euro 4 Titans. So problem solved on that. We've got a new exhaust guard system on it. Hopefully all good. Can take this one out and test ride. And as usual, the obligatory 40 to 45 mile an hour. 3K on the bike so far. That has just been riding around the yard. So up to me, get it out and get some mileage on the bike like we do with all the scooters. And then when we're doing that, I'll update you what's been going on this week. It's been a long week and I haven't had a bike ride since last Saturday afternoon. Now if you happen to watch the uh, the last video I've done, which was the GSXR, took it out, took out a few sports bikes out that day. And then obviously Sunday, I got home Saturday night, bit of a sore shoulder, hmm, put it down just to bike riding. Been a long day, ridden four or five bikes, all sports bikes and thought nothing of it. Sunday morning I woke up in the most severe agony you can imagine. I'm, pr I'm pretty good on my pain threshold, so I'm used to being lobbed down the road on a bike if I do track days and taking bangs and bruises, but this was the worst pain ever. It was an 8 and 9 on my pain scale, or what the hospital called their pain scale. And uh, obviously phoned 111. I said to him, I said, I can't move my arm. Don't know what I've done. I've not knocked it. I've not banged it. What should I do? Try and relax, take some ibuprofen. I'm not one for taking painkillers, but took a couple of ibuprofen, snapped some uh, deep heat on my shoulder. Just to see what we could do. And by two o'clock that afternoon, I was in absolute agony. Went and sat in the hot tub, just to try and ease it. Stuck the bubbles on, did not work. So we ended up with a trip off to uh, A&E. And it was, as I was getting sort of... Mustang. Very nice. And as obviously I was drying off getting out of the hot tub, my missus said to me, she went, oh, look at the inside of your ribs. My whole entire left side and my shoulder was black. And she went, oh, all the skin at the front all looks, you've got, looks like you've got a huge great uh, boil or abscess under the skin. And it was full of fluid. Couldn't figure it out, went up the hospital. I was there until two o'clock Monday morning having x-rays and they drained off about 200 mil of fluid out of my shoulder. I was like, oh, what's that? It's basically inflammation of the shoulder. You've got what's called a frozen shoulder or manifested shoulder. Do you do sports? No. Do you do a lot of press-ups? No. Do you don't play tennis? No. And it's very similar to tennis elbow in the shoulder. So, unfortunately, I wasn't in on Monday. I had the day at home in absolute agony strongest painkillers you can imagine thousand milligrams every four hours just to try and alleviate it managed to sort of crawl into work on the tuesday couldn't move any bikes out couldn't ride any bikes and just sat on the front desk just doing phone calls and obviously booking people in couldn't do much more a little bit of obviously making cups of teas and whatever but that was about all i could do and then obviously during the week it's gradually got better and better and better until yesterday I had to deliver a customer's Virago to him so yeah I'm going to take the risk I'm going to go and ride it and got up this morning yes my shoulder is still caning like a bugger ibuprofens are working now I'm off the main painkillers I'm just on a couple of ibuprofens every uh, five or six hours just to get rid of the soreness but absolutely no reason what caused it and obviously uh, I'm due to have a little break shortly, so uh, Missy said, me, don't you go injuring your shoulder riding bikes on Saturday, no, these test rides need doing, and obviously my helmet is the only one with the camera on, so I said to Phil this morning, I'm going to be a martyr to the cause, I'm going to get out, I'm going to test ride a few bikes. Customers need to have their videos, and obviously that is the reason why you've not seen any videos or test rides on YouTube this week, just simple fact that I've not been in a fit enough state to go out and do a ride and obviously uh, last Sunday I should have been out with the boys from BBN 
having a little ride with them and I actually uh, put in and said I can't make it, I'm cancelling, can't do it, I don't feel safe enough to ride, I could have obviously taken a load of painkillers, numbed it and gone out and ride, but if you're not 100% don't ride a bike and that's what I said to him, I said I'm not 100%, I don't feel fit enough to ride a bike and hence why I'm not going to do a ride this Sunday either, I am going to let my shoulder heal, I'm going to aggravate, it's just going to make it worse, so I have uh, cancelled my Sunday ride, which means next Sunday, when I'm about, is going to be the Super Sausage Run, unfortunately, is our end of month Super Sausage Run from the garage, so I shall be out to do that. But, happy days, all and good, and... Uh, a few of my friends that have been putting videos out and uh, obviously Simon GTR 1400 he's knocking his videos out he's had a thousand views on one video well done Simon absolutely brilliant mate good to see you back out and riding I do uh, obviously uh, like the altercation that he had with him and uh, a Tesla driver on the phone and it's the normal thing car drivers get off your damn phone just check the brakes on that absolutely perfect i pulled up in the absolutely the wrong position i should be just to the off side of that car as best i can just keep an eye on that car behind is actually keeping a nice steady distance from me so that is good we are away So obviously Euro 5 Titans, what are they like? People are asking me, you know, are they as good as the Euro 4 Titans? I'd say no, they're actually better. They've uh, ironed out all the crinkles, as you say, ironed out all the creases, sorted out what the issues were with the Euro 4, got the Euro 5 in. Euro 5 so far, we've not had any back, so we've done a lot of Euro 5 Titans recently, over the last month to two months and i think we've knocked about nine or ten of these out and um, they've all been coming back for servicing all good have you got any problems to report no absolutely nothing the only thing we did find was obviously uh, down to the factory and that is just being fussy again horns we tend to get a lot we're getting a lot in where the horn button doesn't work so whether it's just bad batch of horns or just people not plugging them in correctly in the factory but we had all the uh, the wires apart on the front of this one and the horn button still isn't working so we've ordered another horn for it that is one little niggle it's about the third one that we've had that's had horn issues and then the only other thing we get is the headlight relay and we've had two that have now popped their headlight relays but that is just an electrical thing it takes about 15 20 minutes pop the front panel change the relay which is right at the front on the left hand side put a new relay in job done so that is just a report the things that we found on the new euro fives and like anything any new bike any new car once they start putting the batches out that's when you start finding things and obviously get they get sorted under warranty or recall if it is a huge thing that's ongoing that's the only thing we found engines are a lot better so you've obviously got that new Euro 5 engine we've not had any come in with the lambda sensors which is what we had a lot with the Euro 4 Titans they were prone for uh, needing changes of lambda sensors kept throwing ignition lights or management lights but doesn't seem to happen on the Euro 5s nice little reliable bikes they do what it says on the tin and obviously prices have gone up these retail now we're selling them at 1990 that includes your on the road admin and paperwork and it's still three weeks to prep them yes we can deliver and deliver obviously is chargeable if you wanted a delivery but i can report euro 5 titans are better than the euro fours would i buy one yeah nice little economical scoot under two grand gets you from a to b but like everything, you've got to look after it, you've got to run it in, you've got to maintain it, and you've got to keep the damn thing serviced. That is the main thing that you have to do. You've got to keep these to the service warranty. And obviously service warranties have changed. It's now 500 miles, three months. 3,000 miles, six months. And then obviously one year, 6,000. 
if you're using it as an everyday transport it's not going to take you long to rack up that mileage if you're using it just a couple of miles a day the time is going to come before the mileage but they handle well they pull well great all-round visibility off the mirrors not an issue there yes they still have the nylon tires and we had the nylon tire debate we've had it on about four or five of my videos now oh i don't like nylon tires if it's your first bike nylon tires you are going to slow yourself down in those conditions if it's raining or it's a bit damp or it's a bit misty slow the hell down ride to the road conditions one of my uh, subscribers that follows my pages and he comments on all of my posts normally is the Master Avenger. He likes to sit at home with his cup of coffee and uh, his sandwich or whatever watching my videos and he, some of the comments that he puts, or say 99.9% .9 of the comments he put are so true to fact. He's had a lot of bikes in his lifetime, knows exactly what he's talking about, still rides bikes, but he is very good at what he says and obviously he said he commented to me he said back in the days we had the old uh, nylon tires on all the old japanese bikes yes we did i remember the old kendra tires that used to come out or all the before even maxis or uh, pirelli's or you know all the big brands were about they were unheard of but we used to have nylon tires on all the big bikes my very first uh, big bike my zx9 when i bought it back in uh, the late 80s had nylon tires on it and nylon doesn't mean they're nylon on the outside it is a nylon coat with a rubber bed it just means that they are nylon based compared to being full rubber does it make an issue no this bike's on nylon tires it's calling absolutely perfectly never ever have an issue with nylon tires it's just that you are overstretching yourself to your limits so if you are doing that, then just slow the hell down and ride according to the road conditions. You're not going to be taking corners at 60, 70 mile an hour on one of these, even though you'd like to try. It's a 125 at the end of the day. It's designed as an urban commute or a small commute. It's not designed as a race bike. And that goes for any 125. If you want to uh, hack around like an absolute loon, buy a bigger bike or go and do a track day where they've got proper track tyres on. So that is the thing to do. But, nylon tyres, do you have an issue? No. If you're ever worried about nylon tyres, you don't like them, swap up, buy some rubber tyres in. But I've never had a problem on nylon tyres, and most of the people that have, oh, I went down the road and my nylon tyres threw me off. Yes, you were probably going too fast, or just pushing it too hard, or riding outside of your ability. A tyre will never let you down. It's normally... 99.9% .9 rider error when it comes to losing a bike unless something gets in the way of you like a car but 99.9% .9 of the solo accidents that we see are normally riders target fixation overcooking it in corners or just going too fast for the road conditions or riding outside of your ability that is what normally causes accidents and i'm not uh, Obviously the slowest rider in the world, yes I have overcooked it. I put bikes sideways sometimes and you sort of take a breath, Jesus that was close, I nearly lost the back wheel then, yes, why did that do that? Probably because you were riding too fast or you lent the bike over too far on cold tyres or you're just riding outside your ability. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's a couple of updates we've got 14k on the bike happy days all good to go back to the garage we go if you're interested in titans got loads in stock that's eclipse motorcycles mk.co.uk 01908 643 link and number down the bottom as always hit the thumbs up let me see that uh, you've enjoyed the video if you don't thumbs down i don't care either way i'm not fussed as always, if you've got a comment, drop it in the comments box below. Have a look at some of the comments of Master Avenger. Don't forget to check out all the other bikers, Simon GTR 1400. And uh, go and check out the BBN, Beds, Bucks and North Hans Advanced Motorcycle Riders page on Facebook. A great group, and the numbers are growing, which is what I like to see. 
they're getting a really good following now right out from Eclipse next Sunday I'll post that up on the Facebook pages when we're doing it don't forget of course that notifications bell hit the little bell that will tell you when the next video is coming up in line I'm going to head back now and try and have my cup of coffee. I've not had my cup of coffee and it's nearly 10 o'clock now. I've not had a cup of coffee since I've been in this morning. People have made me to and they've both gone cold because I've just been too busy this morning just trying to catch up on all my bike rides. Thank you very much, Mr. Car Driver. Nice indication. It's good to see someone knows uh, how to use an indicator. Whatever you're doing this weekend, though, guys, have yourself a good one. If you're out riding, ride safe. It's going to be a lovely, glorious weekend for going out biking. If you're off down Super Sausage, we're not going to see you this weekend. But I'll see you on the next one. But if you're going down Super Sausage, great bike calf just outside of uh, Pottersbury. And you can uh, see them on Instagram, Facebook and all that. Super Sausage Cafe, Pottersbury. Great bike calf, normally about 100 to about 200 bikes down there on a Sunday. But they're open uh, six days a week. But until the next time, guys, I'll be going to be signing out now. So be well, ride safe, and as always, with his achy shoulder, it's a big goodbye from me.